Hey all, just a quick tutorial to show you how to make these fake volumetric clouds. That you can uh, fly through. Yeah, let's get started then. First, um, just going to place this right here. Well, you start by making this uh, th these planes that are rotated. You can do that in Blender. Shift A and then plane. You have one. Then you just copy it, copy and paste, and rotate it by 30 degree. And you continue to do this. Increase it by 30 degree. Oh, sorry. And then you continue until you reach uh, 360 degrees. So you have a, you, have, you will have a 12 uh, planes at that point, and you have a plane representing a circle, kind of a circle. So what you do is. Uh, you clip the corners of the planes to produce this. This is how a single plane look now. To do that, we have we just add the uh, we just have a circle fade. It's just fading into a circle, and then we put that in the opacity, and you can see it will cut off the edges. The next step is to add an animation to the. Uh, animation to the to the to the cube or the yeah to the planes so to do that we have uh, we just have we get the time and when we divide it by the speed you want it to animate then we take the frag this will return the value from 0 to 1 and then if you multiply that with 64, you get the frame you want to display. You put that in a flipbook in the frames and set the frames XI counts to 8 and 8. This is our animation I made. I made this and you can see it has 64 animations. And then you just assign the UE to the texture. Put it down here, take the minimum from the fading circle and the texture and put that to opacity. And then you get this. You can see it's animating. And this is how it looks. The next step is then to uh, add some colors. We have the same animation up here. Take the minimum. But then we added a uh, camera deep value, so it will fade away when you fly into it, and a deep fade which will take the deep to the yeah to the next object and then fade it away when it goes into another object. We take the minimum value of those two, and then again the minimum value of these two here, and put it to opacity. Then to get the to get the changes in the colors that go from right to darker, we use the pre-skinned local position, which uh, just give you a value from uh, zero and then higher. The higher you get up, the Y value increases. Then we interpolate that from the vertex shader to the pixel shader and put it in uh, the input zero in our piece shader. And what we do here is just uh, it's just uh, we take the input value, the y, then we add 80 is uh, to get it uh, to move how much black you want. We don't want that much black, but you can put it lo lower if you want more black. And then we clamp it to zero, from zero to three hundred, 
and divided by 150. This way we get a number from uh, 0 to 2 and we can use that to add a little bit more white at the bottom and then divide it with a, a value of how much uh, white you want at the top. And then we assign it to output 0 which goes to emission. But to activate this uh, we have to activate the vertex shader for this to work. And to do that you can just add a fake float tree to the position offset and it will activate the vertex shader and you can use these to put a, to make an input to your piece of shader. So that's about it. And it will give you that result. So to uh, just save this. To make the clouds, you can just uh, copy this, scale it as you wish, and uh, yeah, you have a cloud. You can uh, combine them. Oops. Well, I'm not sure we want shadows, so they look a little weird. You can just disable shadows here if you want. And then we can fly through it. You can see the problem with this is uh, you can kind of see the lines here, if you look here. The lines of the plane. And that's because uh, we have different colors in the planes. You can see it gives you uh, this kind of lines. One way we could uh, remove that is, uh, I'm, I'm going to try this first, but uh, I was thinking about, we could, yeah, you can see them here. Uh, depending on the camera deep, we could uh, change the colors so they would get the same colors on the whole plane when you add this range so uh, we get the color from here we could put in here on the plane when the camera deep is uh, changing so the color of the planes will change depending on how close you are to them that would remove this pattern as well. Yeah, you can see it, but uh, it is a little notice. You can notice it. So, uh, in a way, they also look a bit, uh, a bit uh, cartoonish. I think. I'm not sure. Perhaps another way is needed to make this, but uh, it would be pretty fast doing it this way. So, uh, perhaps you can use it for mobiles and stuff like that. Anyway, it was, it was just a quick tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, until next time, have a great day.